Aloha YouTube, my name is Leslie. Welcome to the Less Is More channel. This is my YouTube channel that we're going to be talking about skincare in small bits and pieces. I was born and raised on the island of Oahu. I have had 20 plus years in the industry of skincare and cosmetics and I'm just willing to share all the knowledge that I have accumulated over the years. I have reached the beautiful age of 40 recently, a couple of months ago, and I find that skincare evolves with age and climate, and we're gonna go over some cleansers today. That's gonna be the whole segment, cleansers and cleansing. My favorite cleanser of choice at the moment is going to be Dr. Dennis Gross, Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting Cleansing Gel. I'm gonna show you how I use it in another clip video within this video. But this has become my favorite cleanser. Clearly you've seen I've used a lot of it. Um, alpha, beta, meaning alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy. Those are two different acids that are used to exfoliate the skin. Alpha hydroxy, taking out the top layer of the skin. So working on surface retexturizing, brightening the skin, really giving you more smoothness. And beta hydroxy, which is also known as salicylic acid, goes in and irrigates the pore. It cleans the inside of the pore. So that allows you to have breathing, healthy skin, free of bacteria, less dead cells, all around smoother, clearer skin. This cleanser, being it's a gel, is oil-free, which is great for me. I do have eyelash extensions, so using a cream cleanser or something oil-based is not the greatest to be using. Uh, that risks my lashes falling out. So really love this cleanser. It's totally amazing. It's got a pump. Uh, you can control how much you use. You really don't need a lot. And again, in another video within this video, you're gonna see how much you really need to use because you're gonna get a lot of foam out of it. So definitely a favorite. Works really well with cleansing tools such as Foreo. This is medical grade silicone technology. So it really stays free of bacteria buildup. It is waterproof. You can charge it with a USB charger, um, but really great. You'll go ahead and you'll turn it on. You can hear a little bit of the vibration and you'll cleanse your skin in a circular motion going all around the T-zone, which I did talk about being more oily. You have more circulation, you have larger pores within this area. So concentrating cleansing within that area is highly recommended just to prevent clogging, breakouts, blackheads. Um, also just to allow more of your treatments, your essences, your moisturizers to all go into the skin a lot more deeper. I do use this tool every now and then, but honestly, my favorite is Original Classic Clarisonic. Yes, mine still works. This is a Mia 3. I did go ahead and pick up some brush heads before they stopped manufacturing it. But this is a really great tool. I mean, talk about deep cleansing, uh, makeup removal, uh, which is gonna be the excess left behind after you've initially removed your makeup. This is a great tool. And as long as you have the appropriate head for your skin type, I'm using delicate. Uh, I've used sensitive, the acneic one, but this is mine of choice right now. Being that it's winter, I just want something a little bit more delicate on the skin, you know? Another way you can work with your cleanser is using facial sponges. Uh, Odacite is a really nice skincare line. They feature a lot of essential oils, which essential oils at a very high grade are actually antibacterial, antimicrobial. So they're actually very healthy for the skin. A lot of brands will, you know, say, oh, there's too much fragrance. There's too much uh, going on in there and it's going to create irritation. However, aromatherapy is very, very healthy for the skin. It is like music for the skin. Uh, it actually strikes different chords within the nerves and your olfactory system, which is your nose, it can recognize different scents from different plants and it'll trigger more hydration, slow down the oil. Uh, it helps to produce more cellular production. There are so many different aromatherapy oils and Odacite is a brand that does it really well. So Odacite facial sponges, you can go ahead and insert this into water. They puff up put your cleanser on it and go ahead and cleanse the skin. That's another really great tool with your cleansers. Prior to using a cleanser, what you do want to go ahead and make sure you do is remove all your makeup. 
makeup removal is key in getting your treatment cleansers to do its job, which is just cleansing the surface of the skin. And the key ingredients in a lot of makeup removers now are going to be micellar. You can actually see uh, crystal micellar water for eyes and face. And, uh, micellar is a great ingredient that I'm gonna go over in just a few minutes, but um, a cleansing water is great because this is for someone like me, again, lash extensions or um, oils tend to maybe irritate the eye. Some oil-based eye makeup removers can do that. Um, so we'll help a client who's coming in and ask her, you know, are you wearing waterproof makeup? Do you have just normal makeup on? So cleansing water would be great for that, but micellar really makes sure that it removes all forms and all traces of makeup without you having to use an oil. So that makes it very effective. And I'll go over the micellar ingredient in just a minute. Another really great one would be cleansing sheets, makeup removal, cleansing sheets. This one by Shiseido I love. Um, this is oil-free prior. I don't know that it's oil-free now, but um, the Shiseido, you'll go ahead and open it up. You can take out a wipe and it will remove all your makeup in a rapid way. I used to use these before going to the gym. Uh, it's a great way to just kind of take off your foundation and lipstick and all, uh, but maybe still keep your eyes on so that you look great while you're working out. Uh, but this is a great makeup remover. Uh, there's a lot of companies that make these. You just, when you go in and you're shopping, you can just ask for makeup removal wipes, but this is one of my favorites, I should say though. Another great makeup removal would be a cleansing oil. This is Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. And cleansing oils, the whole concept behind a cleansing oil is that oil cuts oil. So you'll take a pump of this onto your dry skin. You do not want to wet the skin. Oil works better in breaking something down before it's been exposed to water. So you'll take a pump, you'll take the oil, and then you'll go ahead and massage everything off. I mean, eyebrows, mascara, eyeliner, lipstick, foundation. The oil really melts away everything. And that's great for someone who has long work days and they come home and they're exhausted and they just want to take everything off. Uh, after you've emulsified everything with the cleansing oil, you can add a little bit of water, which creates this light, milky, foaming, whitish kind of consistency. And you'll go ahead and finish the process and rinse off. So some of the newer cleansing oils, they've been designed to be water soluble where they can take everything off once you've emulsified it, just using the oil dry and then completing the process with water. That's when you'd wanna go into your shower or again, if you're still at your sink, you can go ahead and follow with foaming cleansers, which is in another video that I'm about to show you. Another great cleanser that everyone really, really loves, uh, they'll come into my work all the time asking, you know, hey, can I get a foam cleanser? What foaming cleanser do you really like? Uh, in our culture, everyone is so used to foam. Foam equals clean. Foam equals it's doing something. There's activity on the skin. And I understand that. So that's been generations on generations. You know, the whole foam started from a bar of soap. Uh, so foaming cleansers have become the highest sought after staple that most clients will come in looking for to really get their skin clean. Uh, another one that I personally really like, I like Amore Pacific's treatment cleansing foam. It's got these tiny little blue beads in it. Sorry, there's water coming out of it because I keep that in my shower. So even without water, this is water activated, but you get a lot of foam, that real thick, foam, a lot of people like that, it creates that blanket on their skin. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water, to just show you really how much this thing foams. You can even hear that, you hear that lather? That's a lot. So this is a really concentrated foam also. You wanna make sure that you're not using as much as you saw me dispense, but I wanted you to be able to see the consistency of the cleanser, the small blue beads inside, and I'll go over what those blue beads are in a second. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hands because I don't want to over cleanse my face. So give me a second. So 
this morning I just finished a workout and I am going to shower so that's why my eyebrows are a little bit crazy I have no makeup on I do experience hormonal breakouts I've had adult acne for maybe 10 years I have experienced with a lot of different products and Sometimes it's just a cleanser that helps to keep that in check with great exfoliation. One of my favorites, Dr. Dennis Gross, Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting Cleansing Gel. I also stick with gel cleansers because I do get eyelash extensions and that forces me to have to use a gel so that my eyelashes don't fall out. And I have a perfect method that I believe is great when you're cleansing your skin just to make sure that you're getting every inch, every corner of skin is experiencing that cleanse pump. Lather up. I love this because it does lather. It does create a really great foam on the skin. Add a little bit of water. I like starting on the outside of the cheeks. This is where you tend to get a lot of dead cell buildup, dehydration. Work into the T-zone, this is where your largest pores are. This is where you have a lot of heat. There's a lot of circulation going on here. So the pores tend to be larger. There's more oil production in the T-zone. So work on those areas. Touch the corners, underneath, especially jawline. When you work out, you get a lot of sweat coming down there. So you wanna make sure that you're getting everything than the forehead so really work your fingers into a circular motion getting everything here you're gonna notice that I'm staying away from my eyelids and I'll show you why in a second well we catch everything also get your lips never know where your lips have been I like using makeup eraser as a hot compress. A little bit love this. This is another great way to use your makeup eraser cloth, not just for makeup, but cleanser removal. Late at night, you don't want to jump in the shower and wash your face. Maybe you've just gone to dinner, you've been out, you want to take off your makeup. This doubles as an amazing warm compress to continue the makeup removal process. Look at that. There's no cleanser left. It's all done, all gone. And I am going to jump in the shower after this, but still. Just to kind of show you the cleanser that I love and that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and recap. Yes, there's a lot of different cleansers. I've showed you some of mine today. And uh, you'll see some of my friends' ones that they really like also. Do a double cleanse. My first step is with the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Cleansing Oil. I like this because it takes off all of my makeup, including my eye makeup. Um, I can rub it into my eyes and get all of my mascara off without irritation. My second step is Kate Somerville's Exfoliate Cleanser. I like this one because it gives you the squeaky clean afterwards without making your face all dry. It also refines my pores and I just love the way that my skin So goes. today I'm going to tell you what my favorite foaming cleanser or my favorite cleanser is happens to be Sicily La Mousse. It is our newest foaming cleanser and I've always been partial to foaming because I just like the way it feels on my skin. And the reason why I love this because it helps to exfoliate your skin without those little granules in there. It's a great, great cleanser. It makes your skin feel absolutely amazing and it smells beautiful. Hi, my cleanser of choice is this YSL Beauty Balm. It really helps to take off all the sunscreen and also makes my skin feel so soft. You know, oil, balm, white, uh, makeup eraser, foaming cleanser, gel cleanser. Uh, really go in and ask your beauty consultant or your beauty advisor what they really think is going to be best for you. And if you're not sure, uh, you can go ahead and ask me questions. Go ahead and comment, you know, uh, I'll be sure to answer it and I'll get back to you as soon as I can on whatever concerns you have, you know, or 
issues or questions with ingredients, please, I welcome all of it. I am a licensed esthetician and I've been doing this for a very long time. And if I don't know, I will go and research it because knowledge is power. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm really excited to continue sharing this journey of all the skincare products that the industry has to offer. It's always evolving, always changing, but you know, I'm going to do my best to give you some reviews or answer any questions. And I want the cosmetic department to be a less scary place for all of you women out there, or even men, you know, when you want to come in and you just want to take care of your skin, I promise you we're not scary. We just love what we do. We're very passionate as skincare consultants in the industry, and we really just want you to smile and enjoy the skin you live in. Go ahead, like, subscribe below. Have a great day. Aloha.